Hi, my name is Chris Jackson, and I take care of test automation products at MSYS Technologies. I am going to showcase today one of our groundbreaking solutions for automating Android applications. This product that I will show eases automation efforts and reduces the complexity of testing applications for the fragmented Android market. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about the story of why we created this product. It was born out of the frustration that many customers expressed regarding the existing test automation solutions for Android applications. Many of the existing tools had shortcomings and due to poor support, uh, poor support, services were not provided to meet their additional needs. MSYS, being an innovator in testing and test automation, saw this as an opportunity and we decided to take on the task of Android automation. Let me tell you a little bit more about the tool. Uh, I will cover some of the uh, distinctive features, such as it works on multiple Android OS versions, devices, and configurations. Uh, we support anywhere from Android version 2.2 to uh, KitKat, which was recently released. Our tool works seamless, seamlessly with Android devices as well as emula emulators and there is no need to root the device. We have full recording and playback support for not only Android native Android components, but custom Android components as well, as well as uh, support for WebView and hybrid, a hybrid applications. Uh, we can automate all gesture inputs, for example, long press, swipe, pinch open, pinch close, etc and we also record multi-touch actions. Um, when running or playing back a test case, we do allow for parallel execution on multiple Android devices, which would definitely save a lot of time as you play back your test cases. Another unique feature that we have is performance reporting of things such, uh, of things such as system resources, uh, CPU memory, uh, basic sensors and other performance metrics that we provide. We also offer a very intuitive uh, user interface that, one, that runs on Windows and that connects with the mobile device under test. So let me walk, walk you through at this point uh, what we would do to actually automate an application. If you look on your screen you will see that we have our server application which runs on Windows uh, here as well as you, sh you should also be able to see an Android device uh, that we will use for this recording. The first thing that we have to do is actually install our uh, recording agent on the device under test, on the mobile device. So I will demonstrate that process now. We click on manage apps this button here. Our device is connected via USB and it was detected here so now we're going to click install. And this will only take a few moments but it's installing our MSYS agent on the mobile device. And after this uh, application gets installed it will automatically open as you should be able to see on the screen. The next step that we need to take is for the application under test we have to instrument it to allow it to actually be the target of our recording and playback operations. So we will do that process now. I'm just going to click on the instrument button browse to my APK, the Android application that I would like to test. Here it is here. I select it and then I click instrument. Now this is making the necessary changes to the APK that will allow us to record and play back the actions as we create our test case. Uh, depending on the size and complexity of the uh, application. This can take uh, anywhere from maybe five seconds to maybe 
15 to 20 seconds, but it definitely doesn't take a long time. Uh, and this process will, com will complete shortly. Just going to let the uh, instrumentation finish, and now it's done, as we can see here. Uh, in addition to the instrumented app, we get a nice uh, view of the different controls and layouts in our application so that we can easily uh, traverse it and see what's there. Okay, So let's go ahead, now that we have our instrumented app, let's install it on the device. We'll click this button here. And again, this is our device uh, connected via USB. I'm going to click install. And just as before, uh, for the agent, for the MSYS uh, automation agent, we'll get a message saying whether the installation was successful or not. And we can see that indeed it was successful. So now that we have our app on the device, we're ready to actually do a recording. Let's go back to the Home tab, click on the Record button. But before I do that, one very important thing is we have to connect to the device. We see that it's detected both via Wi-Fi as well as USB. So let's just go ahead here and connect via USB. Okay, and by the green icon, we see that our device is connected. And we can also see on the mobile device that the status says that it's connected via USB. Uh, and just for your information, we use various icons throughout the application, and you can see explanations of those here in our glossary. Now that we have an instrumented application, I will demonstrate doing a recording. So now we'll just uh, use our selected device here. Click record our instrumented app from before and you'll see that the device that we're going the uh, I'm sorry application that we're going to record automatically opens on the device as I take events perform events on the device they are automatically reflected on the screen so that I can uh, see visually what I'm doing so let's just uh, click on a few items here select some controls we developed this native app internally just to test our recording and playback for Android automation. So we tried to include as many of the uh, stock controls as possible. So at this point, we're going to uh, stop our recording and save the test case. So I will give this a name as, uh, let's name the project demo. And let's name the test case as test case one and save. Now that our recording has been saved, we can uh, initiate a playback. And I do that by clicking the playback button, selecting the instrumented app, and clicking OK. And then I select the project and the test case I want to use for the playback, and then I click Run. Let me just uh, resize the screen here so that you can see what's happening. You can see that the uh, application was again started on the mobile device and the event stats they are played back there also show on the screen on Windows. Here we have a playback status so that we can see that one test case is running and we have different other statuses such as test cases pending, aborted, uh, stopped, or failed, and passed. Here in our event logs, we see that 34 or 40 events are complete. Um, test, pace, test case playback is almost completed. And then once it completes, we'll be able to see the report. Uh, we can tell by the green badge indicated here that test case playback passed or succeeded. Let's click the uh, report icon. And then that opens up the report here where we can see all of the steps with the time that they took. This is a summary of the playback, uh, the name of the project, the name of the device, the connection type, uh, package name, and so on and so forth, including execution time. This is an HTML report. Okay, so there are other ways to also access the report, 
and I'll illustrate that now. We have a reports page, and we can see our report listed here as well. We have many different parameters that we can search report by, such as project name, mobile device, package name, and date, and whether the uh, past test case passed or failed. So this is the uh, test case that we just executed. And if we click this button, we'll also be taken to the reports page. Another feature that we also have, if you wanted to share the report with somebody else, you just click on the PDF button and we can save it. Let me uh, select a suitable location to save this. PDF report example. Let's save that report and then I'll open it up here. And we get a nice report that's all formatted and ready for you to share uh, with your colleagues of what happened while running the test case. Basically, this is the same information that we saw uh, when the test case was completed. Of course, there are other uh, options we can take in, the, in order to keep the uh, video from being too long, I won't uh, be able to discuss all of the functionality in our tool, but there are some other things that I'll quickly demonstrate. And we can rename applications here. We can delete applications. I'll cancel on that. Uh, and I think we already went through installing and instrumenting. Uh, when we select man manage projects, this is where the events that we recorded are displayed. Okay, we can do common operations such as uh, copy an event and paste it. We can delete an event. We also are able to take performance metrics um, and I'll just insert that to illustrate that here. So we can measure battery usage, CPU, memory usage, as well as the SD card. Performance metric. And you can enter these wherever you would like. Uh, whenever that performance metric is encountered, the uh, information will be displayed, will be conveyed from the mobile device to the Windows uh, server and included in the report. We can also add new events of different types. The system is designed to be very user-friendly uh, and intuitive, but if you did have any questions, then you could definitely contact us and we would be happy to help you. Okay, so those are some of the operations that we can take. We can uh, rename, for example, the test case, rename projects. I'm being prompted to save the changes, we'll just say no on that want to name, rename our project, we could. And one more thing that I wanted, if we wanted to rename the test case, we can do that here. And we also have the ability to um, include performance, I mentioned that before, assertions. So let me illustrate that now. So we can assert whether, uh, for example, if an ID is present, uh, if a text is present, if a control is visible or invisible, based on the ID, text, or view type. And there are different options here. We also have the ability to take a screenshot here. So uh, I think I'll wrap up at this point. Let's save our changes. Okay. So in this uh, video, I gave you an overview of the Android automation solution that's been developed by MSYS Technologies. 
We are also developing a version for iOS, so please be on the lookout for that. And if you have any questions or if you would like a demo or if you would like to download a trial version of our software, please get in touch with us. Thank you and have a great day.